<laughs> Hi, welcome back to another episode of He'd Be Live and Unplugged. Hey! Tonight, tonight, this on this episode, we have the Sean Ryman Band. This is Kimmy. I'm Og. You might remember us from Hebe Radio, uh, uh, once archaic, now now archaic. But uh, this is uh, live and unplugged. So, um, you know, leave your keyboards at home, right? Yeah. And uh, and your electric guitars at home. But uh, live and, and unplugged for a reason. Live and unplugged for a reason. It's because we're breaking the songs down to their bare elements, Sean. Cool. And this is Sean Ryman and this is Kevin Hill playing the cajon with us. And Kevin Hill has a cajon mm -hmm. that you would not believe. <laughs> Actually, you might see it. So, uh, no, we're glad to have you back. Well, I'm glad to be back. It was a lot of fun the last time. We got to come out and uh, play some tunes when we were here for the radio show and promote a show where we actually played here, which we had a great night and, uh, and really enjoyed ourselves in Mount Holly. And uh, it's been great. It's happy to be back. Awesome. Yeah. I had to have these guys back. I know. Yeah, I did. I know. Because you're here. I'm telling you that. She, she does all that stuff. I just show up, you know. <laughs> and calls me five minutes I got the easy before job. you're supposed to be here. Who's that? Who's, who's the guy? Who's, who's the, who's yeah, that? Yeah, and I called her. I said, oh, wait a minute. I know someone and someone. Who are they? <laughs> but to get back to these guys, that night, that's the, the night I had you on the radio show, I left here and I said, that was absolutely my favorite above all night oh my god thank you it was really really my favorite that's night that's awesome thank we you. had a good time and then we had you know carfax abby on the, right after yeah. and yeah i walked out of here and i said if i could have every show like that it would be amazing it was so a lot of fun I mean, we really enjoyed really, ourselves being here and, yeah. and you guys were so welcoming when we got here so well you nice. know I mean, you make it easy we're, we're hugs and kisses over there <laughs> yeah in, in, th in this format we're a little less chatty so we hope we have at least three songs yeah, we've got ready tons to go. of music. Tons of music. They're ready and, to rock. Yeah, and sure. tell us, uh, uh, tell our audience where you can, where they can get you, if after they're done watching this on YouTube, and they're like, dang, I need to download that. Yeah. Where where can they find? I, you? They can find music all over the place. They can start on iTunes and Amazon. Um, there's a, a SoundCloud page if they search SoundCloud. There's SeanRyman.com. Uh, it's R U Y M A N, right? M E N. M E N. M E N. R U Y M E N, and my first name is S H A U N. So my parents really made the whole kind of remembering my name thing a little bit more difficult. Because they knew you'd be a rock star. Though. I, I suppose that's what it is. But, you know, as a kid, everybody had, like, the different night lights that had their names on it and stuff. And mine was always S-H-A-W oh. with, like, a Sharpie that just connected the W to make oh, it Oh, you. you never got the little snowman No, on everything your I had was bruised. It was, like, it just was damaged goods. So there was no returning wow. it, that's for sure. Well, this is redemption right here. Absolutely. Are you ready to redeem yeah. yourself? Yeah, yeah, let's do some tunes. <laughs> Let's play some music. Tell, well, tell us what the song you're going to play is, and give us a little history about the song. Okay. How you wrote it, why you wrote it, who you wrote it about. Sure, sure. Um, unless you don't want to say. No, okay no, 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 absolutely. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> if you wronged me enough to, for me to write a song about you, <laughs> get ready. Yeah. Um, the, the first song we'll play is called You Can Leave, and it's, it's fairly a, a newer song. Um, I've been in this, this songwriting group where we receive a prompt on Monday and by the end of the week we've got to write a song, record it, and send it out to whoever else is in the group. So we all get the same prompt and uh, from there you are challenged to write a song and ideally you're trying to write it about something different than anybody else would and, and have it stand out a little bit and uh, this was one of those songs that we wrote and when I sat down to write it, um, my sister-in-law was actually living with me at the time. She was helping us out. I have a newborn son at home, he's four months now. And uh, she was helping like babysit with him and take care of him throughout the summer. Congrats! And, hey, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, he was only a couple of weeks old when he came. Yeah, the first time like, we were here, it was like two know, weeks old, and, and everyone's like, "You're here, brand new daddy." <laughs> yes, we. I am here. <laughs> Music calls. Um, and so, you know, we, we started. I started sitting there and I was playing through some ideas, and I kind of came up with this idea of writing a song about a person um, that that I know that I'm friends with, and she, you know, she's got a lot of things going for her, but nothing on the surface going for her. And so uh, no one really understood stood the good of her. And, and so nobody really took the investment in, in trying to find something with her. But she had the greatest attitude about it, saying that if you didn't like what you see, then just get away and you can oh, leave. Oh, you, you wrote can... a song about me? <laughs> but maybe. But that's the beauty of it. If you, can, you know what I mean? Really? If you can, it, everybody should be able to relate in some way. And so it, when you hear it, the first verse was really, I was sitting there talking with my sister-in-law. And it's one of my sister-in-law's best friends. So it was great to have her there as sort of a muse and a co-write with it because I was able to like bounce ideas off of her. You know, and the first verse was very much her opinion of this person. 
The second verse was very much my opinion of this person, and the chorus is almost like this girl's response back to the world. That's so. really... I can't wait to hear this. Cool. Nice. Let's play it then. It's called You Can Leave. You Can Leave. By Sean Ryman. Yes, sir. That's Sean Ryman with You Can Leave. I, uh, I love the line, uh, she has a way of looking perfect when she smiles. Yeah. I, really, yeah, I, really, I dug that. It was, you know? it was kind of one of those situations where she is that kind of person. When she tries and does, makes an effort for it, immediately you're like, damn, this girl just walks into the room and boom. Uh, but it's almost like the next line is so crucial to it because she's got a way of just trying not to try all the time. It seems like everything she does. Right, she doesn't need your smile either. And that's what yeah. it is, you know, it's, it's kind of, that was the whole theme of the song. And I think it really kind of hit true for her um, hearing that because you get sort of somebody understanding that, that what she's going through kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and, and you know. It's, that's very cool. Thanks, and you did that in a I week like because of this. Yeah, you know, well, quite frankly, I don't do it in a week. I do it on a Saturday. Um, oh, so just in one day. We, Stream of consciousness ah, just kind of writing. It, it really is. It's like I'm a vomit. So I'm a songwriter vomiter. Like, I write songs and vomits. You know, it's it, I start and boom, it comes out. Um, and I, <laughs> there's times where I can't do it at all. And then there's times that I'll write and write and write and write. And, you know, I'll go through ideas over and over and over again. And, and you know, it drives my wife crazy. But now that with the baby in the house, it's like... All week long, we've got that taken care of, and then oh, by Sunday I've got to record and write this song and send it out there. And so Saturday morning, I'm like, ah, ideas, ideas, ideas. Um, well, it just means you're good under pressure. I'm a procrastinator. Yeah, that's that, most procrastinators are good under pressure. That's, and that's kind that's of why I guess, they the, can procrastinate. That's the game name of the game, yeah. I guess. So yeah. I really like. I wrote an entire term paper in one morning. 
On a uh, cell phone, probably. Uh, no, I hand wrote it. Okay. Got an A minus because it wasn't typed. That's not too bad. Yeah. I, I see it all the time. <laughs> I, I teach high school. Um, that's my career, I guess. Um, and uh, where do you I teach? Th- I teach in South Brunswick, up in Middlesex County. Okay. So I see kids constantly, literally sitting in their their study halls or whatever on their phones, going crazy. And you're like, who, who, put your phone away. You shouldn't be texting. And like, no, no, I'm re- working on a paper. And sure enough, they're typing papers on their iPhones. It's amazing. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what it's all about. They didn't That's have right. iPhones when I went to college. No, sir. They had stone tablets. <laughs> Smoke signals. <laughs> Smoke signals. Oh, there are lots of those. The bell didn't ring. It was just hey, now, yes. hey, let's not go over there. Yeah, with him. This is on tape. <laughs> That's funny. So what do you have up next for us? Um, okay, another, another kind of stream of consciousness song. Uh, this is one of my favorite songs I think that I've ever written. Um, it's called Lend Me Your Ears, and it's, it's very much about the music business. And uh, it's, it's a song that's really kind of taken on a uh, different life because when I first wrote the song, um, it was about this theme of the effort be- required. And that was sort of one of our prompts for the week, it was the effort required. And uh, this, this songwriting group has been so good for my songwriting because it really has forced me to think outside the box. So you hear this, the effort required, and I'm like, what am I going to do with this? And I immediately thought of these situations where people just give up everything that they have and ship themselves out to Hollywood or Los Angeles or whatever on the whim of this promise from some creepy scumbag that promises in the world. And uh, the effort required involved getting on their knees. And uh, yeah, so there's... For prayer, right? Well, <laughs> originally, it would just end there. You know the effort required, drop to your knees. And uh, I, started, I, I started playing the song for people. And uh, lend my me mom your ears. being one of them. And uh, you're down there. <laughs> my mom was like, I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> and so the song um, sort of spawned into something a little different. And, and it did. The, like the prayer kind of came into it. These ideas of, of just you're not alone in this struggle, more or less. Uh, and not necessarily that it has to be some godly figure. Uh, but there is, you know, that, that sort of ever-present being in the theme of the song. Uh, whether it's, you know, a support group or somebody else that they can rely on or whatever it is. Uh, and that's where it kind of got built from. So cool. It's, it's called Let Me Your Ears. Sean Ryman with Let Me Your Ears. Uh, he'd be live and unplugged. I'm gonna make a change Packed up all her things Headed out from Memphis to L.A. She's gonna meet a man He says he holds the keys You know the effort required Drop to your knees and pray Please God, won't you take me by the hand I'm in over my head In this shady, shiny lane I lost my way my money and my pride I left with just a dream Now I'm running out of time If somebody can hear Lend me your ears He says we'll change your style Baby, change your name Write your songs of sex, drugs, and fame. Says they'll eat it up. I just know what they need. You know the effort required. She screams, Please, God, won't you take me by the hand? I've been over my head in this shady, shiny land. I lost my way, lost my money, and my pride. Just a dream that I'm running out of time 
by Sean Ryman. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Wow. You thought it was going to be bad? <laughs> well, I thought it was going to be, you know. <laughs> oh, racy. The other, yes, right. You right, thought right, like right. a little inappropriate. Yeah. Well, right. You're, you said your mom didn't think it was going to get so well, I, I was I, like. It changed quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, all I could think of when you gave me the title was a uh, um, little help from my friends. Okay. You know, lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song. Wow. You know, it's funny that like I've said this title a thousand times and not once did that pop into my head. And it should have. Because that's one of my favorite songs. Well, I'm like a freak about the Beatles, so. We know. Yeah. Everybody knows that by now. <laughs> you could be a freak about worse things. Yes. True. Well, I'm a freak about some other things, but we don't talk about that. Oh, boy. Right. Um, <laughs> different show. Yeah. Different show completely. You know what? When we, had the, when we were on the radio show, we launched into that show a little oh, bit. I'm sure time, we did. I'm sure yeah. we did. We had, we had a little bit more time to digress there. We were yeah. we were very risque the last time you were here. Listen, all there's, there, nothing yeah. pro- there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's all in good fun. You guys should have come to the show when we played here because then it was got, it got really serious. Nice. There was like water balloons and super soakers and lots of white shirts. It was crazy. What? Yeah, it happens. Someone's got to send me a memo the next time they play here. <laughs> okay. So let's let's get, let's get another one out of you. Cool. Come on. Um, what, what do you got? What you got? Let's we'll do one called "I Got Time." Um, it, it's sort of become like one of our, our kind of our fan favorite songs when we when we, we play it I've out heard live. This one, you have. Did you play it when you were on the radio show with us? I don't think so, but I gave you guys some CDs, so maybe listen to it that way. That's probably it. Um, it's a uh, you know it's it's a song it's a song about the idea of of not having much to give other than uh, your time for people, and and you know there's the the hook of the song kind of comes in. Um, I got a little something for you. And, uh, you know, the, the idea is that I've got some time for you, if nothing else. You know, it, it's sort of uh, the setting of the song happens. I'm, I'm sort of walking on a boardwalk and hearing somebody singing in the distance. And you come across this beautiful woman who's singing this beautiful melodies. Uh, and, and you just really enjoy it. You reach in your pocket to give her money and you realize I don't have it. So what else can I do? I can sit here and, and sort of listen. And it's, it's sort of symbolic of, of a lot of things that we've been going through musically lately because... Um, as you start to move on in, in your career and you look for people to help, uh, a lot of times people see a dollar sign written in the word help. And uh, I'm not looking for anybody that wants to take money, but wants to just give time in, in their ears and, 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 and just support what we're doing musically. So that's kind of where the song is. it I Got Time or I Have Got Time? I Got Time. I Got Time. Yeah. All yeah, right. It probably should be I Have Got Time. I no, have, no, you no, don't have to be grammatical. He's time. only a high school Grammar teacher. doesn't matter in music, man. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. You're it absolutely doesn't matter. Right. I break the rules. When you're writing a term paper, it matters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is I Got Time. I Got Time. By Sean Ryman. She was standing on the boardwalk And singing for the sun I was walking all alone, I didn't know who to say anyone Till her voice went erupt, it was obvious what I had to do Said my pockets are empty, but I gotta let something for you I got time, I got time, I got time By, not knowing what to say. Some smiled, some cried, but I was blown away. She controlled my emotion, shape changing and shifting gears. You can keep all your minutes and your hours. I'm missing for you.
war and singing for the sun. I was walking all alone, I didn't notice anyone. Till her voice went all up, was obvious what I had to do. I said, My pockets are empty, but I got a little something to do. I said, My pockets are empty, but I got a little something to do. Then my pockets are empty. A little time for you. Thank I got time by Sean Ryman. See, that's how it's done. Nice. Now, that wasn't Seaside <laughs> Heights Boardwalk, was it? <laughs> it's a good thing you wrote it then. Way too soon, man. Way too <laughs> oh, soon. Oh, come on. Way too soon. No. no, it's never too soon. That song was hot. It was like on fire. Very hot. I like that a lot. Terrible. I was only going to say that's how it's done here at Hebe, you know, live and unplugged. <laughs> it is. And it's awesome. Because uh, that's, that's what this is all about. So it's about, it's about you and your songs. And um, really glad you came. Me too. This was yeah. a lot of fun. Can we come back again and do it? Yes, please. Cool. I, I think so. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> Once a week. So we hope to see you again. Uh, tune in next time for uh, Hebe Live and Unplugged. And until then, as always, we will see you see next, you next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, nice.